active and I'm not like working out in a way of like or fasting in a way of like beating my body to submission. Like I'm just truly doing what feels good. See? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, we need to do week seven's results. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. Let's just talk about week seven, okay? Let's talk about what happened during week seven. So you guys know that on the weigh-in on last Sunday, I weighed in at my lowest weight at 222.0 pounds. Like that's the second time that I've hit that weight. I was extremely excited. And then you guys know that I also talked about like how I was a little nervous because I didn't want to like sabotage myself. There's a lot of stuff I want to say right now, but you guys also know I did a video about like having a busy work week. So there's a lot that I still need to process that I haven't quite processed yet. So I believe that later this week, I may do a live video after I have a chance to process and chat with you guys a little bit. But let's make this quick, make this video quick. Okay. so. Sunday, I fasted for 21 hours. Monday, 19 hours. Tuesday, 20 hours. Wednesday, 22 hours. Thursday, 20 hours. Friday, 27 hours. Saturday, 17 hours. And on Sunday, I had 15,573 steps. Monday, 12,754 steps. Tuesday, 2,765 steps. Wednesday, 11,410 steps. Thursday, 1,100, I'm sorry, 1,690 steps. I told you guys, like I am extremely sedentary. Like my job does not require, even when I'm walking with my patients, it's not enough. Like that's why I aim for 10,000 steps every morning. Like I'm not just some crazy person that just, I mean, I do enjoy walking, but if I didn't actively move my body, my job doesn't require me to. And Friday, 1,372 steps. And on Saturday, 24,207 steps. For a total of 69,771 steps, which I tried to average 10,000 steps a day. So I almost hit that 70,000 mark. All right, so last week we, first let's talk about a couple things. You guys know I'm doing intermittent fasting. So last week, I am so excited that I was fasting because with the amount of like focus and attention I was able to give to give to my work like I I handled it like a boss like I handled that week so well and I know a lot of it has to do with me fasting and I'm very thankful and appreciative for that then Friday so Friday we celebrated our oldest son's birthday he loves seafood so we had like a ton of food from Red Lobster. He likes crab legs and lobster and shrimp, and like all of that stuff. So I knew that would be a late night for dinner. So I had already like closed my eating window and I was in a fasted state when I went to go pick up their food, well our food, cause I did have it later, but our food from Red Lobster. And a couple things you guys, like first to have the food I'm talking about over $100 worth of Red Lobster seafood sitting on the passenger seat next to me and not feeling the urgent. I don't know if you guys like know what that food smells like. It's just like so delicious. And to be able to just enjoy the scent of the food and not feel like, oh my gosh, like let me taste something was just incredible. Like this week has been a little, I think it's a little emotional for me because as you guys saw in the title of the video, I've changed like this week, I noticed a lot of changes. So that was like the first thing where I was like, dang girl, like, okay, I see you, you know? And then that night, because we were having a party. So like while my family was eating, and don't get me wrong, I did enjoy some of that. One thing I did want, you guys know I typically don't eat sugar or flour, but I really wanted to see if the Cheddar Bay biscuits still tasted the same way I remember them tasting, like almost like two years ago. They did, so I did have that. And also, I'll just show you guys here. You don't see the biscuit, but you'll see the food that I put aside for myself. And I did have that the following morning when I opened my window at 5.30. So I did have some. Lobster, I'm not crazy about crabs, crab legs, any of that stuff, but some shrimp and whatever. And I did have that Cheddar Bay biscuit, but I also have to tell you that it didn't feel good on my stomach. Like my stomach was really, the biscuit, it didn't land well. It tasted yummy, tasted yummy like to eat it, but like 
I didn't feel great after eating it. Okay, let's go on. So Friday night, like as my family was at the table and they were just enjoying, you know, like that seafood feast, I was preparing um, the food because our youngest, son, our, our youngest, he enjoys pasta, like everything pasta. So on Saturday, we had a big party, like with family and stuff. And we had, I baked three lasagnas, made two pans of chicken alfredo. I'll just put the, put a little video in here so you guys can see like we had so much food there was like cake of different flavors there was cheesecake like there was a lot and I even ordered some chicken parm from Olive Garden um and everything else oh and um some breadsticks and everything else I just made myself and when I baked that when I was baking the food and making the food I enjoyed it so much but there was nothing in me that was like oh you should try it you know, like, I, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional. I think, woo, see this is why I told you guys I needed to process some stuff first, but I also wanna get this video up. But I think I was just so proud of myself because I've shared with you guys many times before how I dealt with like emotional eating. And in that moment, I like the old me, I think I would've just been, even if it was like good emotions or like just feeling happy and, you know, I would have been eating along the way, but for me, it was just enough to know that, oh, my family's gonna be here tomorrow. And like, you know, the kids are all gonna get to play. Like those were enough emotions for me that I didn't feel the need to eat. So like that night as I was preparing the food, I didn't eat. And then after I felt crappy from eating the Cheddar Bay Biscuit, I knew I was not gonna have any pasta because I, like, as a matter of fact, so that night I had the, I'm sorry, that morning I had the biscuit like around five something in the morning. And then I actually walked like nine miles afterwards. And it wasn't a nine miles as in like punishment. It was more so my goal was to do six miles, which my husband did the six miles with me. But then after that, I just kept going because we, the weather was nice. So, and I knew there were going to be people in our house later. So I just kept going because I felt good. Like I was in a good good mindset so yeah so I just kept going so like even when everyone was here I had I did have my window open to eat because I opened it at 5 30 and I left it open for the party and I just had salmon my salad and like I truly enjoyed it I even took a bite of the carrot cake because this carrot cake we got from Winn-Dixie versus we usually buy them from Publix and I just wanted to see if they matched up but the one from when Dixie had a ton of raisins and I don't like raisins. So like when I see a slither like less than the width of my finger and it wasn't because I couldn't, it was just, I didn't want it. And I'm trying to think, I ate some more food, but I think I'm so emotional right now because I'm eating everything I want to eat. Like I'm really truly eating the foods that I want to eat. And I'm sticking to my goals of like, walking and like keeping my body active and i'm not like working out in a way of like or fasting in a way of like beating my body to submission like i'm just truly doing what feels good and just being at this place which is kind of like where i feel like i should have always been anyways because people that know me in real life know that i'm probably like the healthiest eater that they know but it's just been so frustrating over the years to where it feels like your body's kind of betraying you even though you're working out and you're eating healthy, you know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna process some of that and when I'm ready, I think I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit. But let's talk about this week's weigh-in. So you guys know last week I weighed in at 222.0 and this week we have a new low. I weighed in at 220.4 pounds. So that is a loss of 1.6 pounds. See, I feel like so I've now officially hit another low on this weight loss journey and I'm just so proud of myself.
I'm so proud of myself because if you guys go back on my channel, there's another video of me crying. And I was talking about like self-sabotage or like, you know, when you hit these lows that you start to like sabotage your journey. And I did some inner work around that. And for me, I can't speak for everyone else. It was just about like realizing that like that you're worthy, you know, and I had to realize that like me taking care of myself, it doesn't hurt anyone. But me not taking care of myself, like that hurts everyone I love, you know? But most importantly, it hurts me. So for those of you that are on your weight loss journeys, wellness journeys, fitness journeys, I just want you to know like, number one, I'm so proud of you because it takes courage to do this, like day in and day out. It takes courage to prioritize yourself even if you're not putting yourself number one but just to put yourself on the list like that takes courage and to continue showing up for yourself every day like that's so freaking awesome especially as a woman because there are so many other things that demand our attention so to be able to continue to just show up for yourself in whatever way that is getting a little extra sleep drinking a little extra water eating one healthy meal a day like whatever it is you're doing i just want you guys to know that i'm so proud of you and i also just want to tell you guys thank you so much for supporting me on this journey i promise you guys that i will do my best to be as authentic as possible and to share the highs and the lows and I'm just so proud of myself that I've realized that I'm worth it. And I think I've also hit a place where I think if any of you are empaths, then you know, you, you would understand where I'm coming from. So I've hit this stride where there's no going back like when I make up my mind I've made up my mind and it's like a light bulb just goes this is happening in other situations other circumstances in my life to where when I decide not just me when a woman decides she's decided that's all I can say and I think you guys probably know what I mean by that it's that in between phase where you're like should I shouldn't I you know maybe or you're asking for opinions and advice and I'm just at a point right now where I'm just at a point right now where it's really not about the opinions of other people like I'm doing this for me you know I want to achieve the I want my inside to match up with my outside like i've always been this super active athletic fun goofy silly person like inside and i just want the outside to match even more but in short i just want to say if you're on your own fitness wellness journey keep going i am so proud of you i let's do a quick body shot before i wrap up tell you guys I thank you so much for being here I appreciate you don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye guys